Okay, no, the, the thing cut off at like three this time. That okay. Okay. Oh, Nick. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Four Billion Years of Stupid. I am your host, Mitch. With me, as always, my co-host Xander. How you doing today, brother? <laughs> oh, Mitch and Xander. That's a oh, that's a that's an inside the park <laughs> reference right there. We'll, I'm we'll probably right give y'all a, a episode about all of that one day. I'm good, man. Uh, recovered a lot for the rough two weeks. Bit of a bender, but hey, you know. That's a tradition. That's <laughs> a tradition. Uh, real quick before we start. Um, we got a few new subscribers, I guess, and, you know, our views are randomly going up for whatever reason. So, if you do like, uh, share it, hit the like button, sh- give us some feedback, do something, let's get interactive. Let's Subscribe, let's- all that. Um, I'll probably put the right language. I'll put the right language uh, this time. All right, question yeah, of the week. Yeah. Cool. Would you have sex? Probably. If every time you finished, it was just one big ass sperm you had to fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to fight like like Mortal Kombat or like it's oh, like yeah. passing kidney stone. No. It it manifests and you gotta scrap with it. Okay. <laughs> Another question. So is it like, in order to like, can I just knock it out like before foreplay happens? Like me nope. and this big giant sperm. Okay, so it's nope. like me going into it, and like right before if, the vinegar strokes. A for the giant sake sperm. of for the sake of argument, if it's not used to try to conceive, it will pop out. It'll just pop up. It just summon. There it is. Yeah, but is it like in order for me to finish? So is it like me about to finish and I'm like, Ugh, and then like I got to square up? No, or, it's once you finish. Uh, once I finish. Once you finish the act. Every time. Every time. And a giant sperm, you say? Yes. Giant by sperm definition or giant by human definition? Um, I mean, anything over microscopic is giant by sperm definition. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we'll say he's... He's about 5'5". Five, 5'5", five. Five, five, About 75. Little vulture weight. Every time? Every time. That's what Unless I'm saying, it's man. being like, used gotta, for conception. It got, it got to fight. Like, that's the sperm goal is to fight past everybody else and to get chosen. And fighting you. It's feisty. I don't know if I want that post-coital fight. Every time with a five. I'm already out of breath. There's a lot going on. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying, man. And you know after you after you let that one go, you tired. You, know, you get that clarity. So it's like, hey, do we really want to fight? You might have been like cramping up and shit. Like you could be in a real bad way. Like, you be, no. <laughs> you could be um, in a real bad way. I'm not doing it. And the, but the not. other. But it's to the other option is to just never bone. You never bone again. I would just space them out. I just maybe once yeah. a year. Once a year? <laughs> Not like once a probably like once a month. Don't don't once a year me like you just didn't cut out sex completely. <laughs> I may have forgotten the rules instantly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I immediately I'm a, forgot the rules. Oh. Yeah, I'm spacing them out. Uh, once t- a I, month. Would, I would have to. Once a month. Even if it was a guaranteed L. Even if like it's still a five five one seventy five sperm, but you're guaranteed to lose every time, no matter what. I I'm still I'd still you'd have to. You'd you, have you to. can't not do it. You can't not. Would you give it up for a year? If it was just like on the table for a year, or would you still just duke it with him every time? I'd probably give in, and at some point, which, <laughs> I'm just probably like, maybe just like a month That's what it's going to be. Ah, I want to be right. worth it. So uh, neither of us, we would want to, but we'd have beef with sperm. Speaking of strange beefs, we'll get into our first article. 
Okay. Don't like that transition. <laughs> I'm rusty. Uh, <laughs> seen a lot of reds and blues it's, it's been a long couple of weeks um okay in India elephant kills a 70 year old woman mm. okay elephant shows up to 70 year old woman's funeral grabs her off the pyre stomps her out I'm not done after stomping the corpse, trumpets in this fucking into the sky. <laughs> the gang of elephants stop out the village. Destroy the what? whole village. Yo. What did she do to this elephant? What in the elephant never forgets did she do to this mother? That's what I'm saying, bruh. Seventy year old woman got killed by an elephant. Brutally attacked by an elephant in the forest collecting water. They have her funeral. It comes to the it comes to the funeral, grabs her off the shit, stomps her out some more. Trumpets brings in the boys. The boys stomp out the village. Just stomp the village, bro. Stomp him in the dick. I'm gonna stomp him in the dick. <laughs> he says the elephant proceeded to attack the funeral, target her corpse, trapped it before letting a furious roar out that signaled the other elephants from its herd to wreck the rest of the village. So, so okay, so the old Indian lady, right, said tripping in the wrong neighborhood. The wrong neighborhood. Wrong hood, bruh. Got yatted up on. Dunzo. But then the, it was excessive because he went back and grabbed that bitch again. Bruh. After she dead, that's overkill. And so, then, I'm sorry, can you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, not really. Uh, so not even... Was it just like that? So after they just, you know, ran through the village, they targeted her house, destroyed her house, killed her goats. Witnesses say killed that goats? killed her goats. Ooh. Witnesses That's... say that after everything went down, some of them stuck around to spray the damage and stomped her dead body some more. Why you be? This... What did you do to these elephants? Cartoonish. Like who? That, <laughs> this is <laughs> this like the fucking Jungle Book. What are we <laughs> doing? That's fucking mad. <laughs> Jesus. Bro, what did you do at seventy years old to this elephant? Dumped her out. Elephant said, "Who do you?" Bro, a squad came in. Gang, gang. Just ran through the village, found her house, stomped oh, out you, the house. Bitch. Fuck your mama, with her goats, fuck your kids. Fuck your camel you rolled in on, bro. All of it. And, like, bro, so they stomping everything out, and one elephant is keeping an eye on where her corpse is, because then they went back after all the destruction. Stomped her out again. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't they love elephants? Uh, not like anymore. They, God damn, right? I'm like, the fuck did you do to piss Sheev off? Here's the craziest thing. So other people's houses got destroyed. The village, you know, was in shambles. No other human except for her corpse and no other creature except for her goats was harmed. People's houses were destroyed, but nobody else was harmed. You know why? Because they did, um, they did to her what we did to Spider-Man at the show. It was like, that nigga with you? Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Don't know nope. that mother. <laughs> we, don't know we don't know that nigga. He, he just looked mm -mm. this way and continued what I was doing. <laughs> her funeral's over there. Her house is over there. <laughs> we all be over a, here. The sacrifice here. Take the village. We'll move. We'll move. Just please, we'll, please, don't. We're clearly in y'all territory. We'll get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> but her and everything she loves is right down the street. So, uh. <laughs> We'll holler at you later. <laughs> Yo. I mean, she had to come, I guess. Had to have. I, she did something. You did something that I don't know what you could have done. But <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, you played Dumbo and repeat for six years and you tortured had that to, Like, What beef could you possibly have with an elephant at 70? You, like, 
what could you possibly do for them to be like, we don't like you this much? There's yeah, no that was shot. a passionate stomping. That was a passionate stomping. Right. <laughs> she got killed and then stomped by elephants. I wonder what picture they used for like the funeral or like the article. Like, is there a picture of the woman? I didn't even look. I just I was like, is it, is if you can see the you can you can tell. You can tell as soon as you she look. Put at a her. hex on or something stupid like. Yeah, you, know. <laughs> you did some shit. Yeah, so she died and then died again. And um, <laughs> since we're talking about dying and dying again. This nigga woke up dead in the next article. Man That's smashes a, his way me. out of coffin after being a after being buried alive when he passed out of the festival. How how long ago is this festival? Because they seemed pretty willing and ready. This to was in August this of this year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> weeks ago. This has been on the list for a while. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, but I'm saying like you pass out at a at a festival, mm-hmm. and then you wake up in a casket. Then wasn't just some regular brownies he ate. This nigga woke up to take a piss. This nigga like passed out. Was like I had to take a piss. Woke up was like what the fuck in a box. <laughs> Did he kill Bill himself out of there? Just <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Um, I guess it was That's glass, what's... so I guess that helped him probably. But like, how long were you out? Ooh, I'm sorry, I forgot the Raiders owners. A baddie. Shout out to the. Or we're the, watching the opera, football as well, guys. Uh, um, that Davis kid, not nah, not not a baddie. Uh, but the new like operations head. But <laughs> yeah, so imagine like being at a festival, turning up, bro. You like blackout drunk and wake up. And niggas put you in a coffin to sacrifice you to their cause. You know what I'm saying? One monkey don't stop the show. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. You know? Oops. No, nah, we're not going to just, like, where are my friends? Right? Because I need to just <laughs> of us have them. wake up here. Like, I, I'm not going to a festival without people. This nigga was but 50 like, miles away from the spot, bruh. Oh, no. So there's more to that. There gotta be. Gotta be more to that. That's what I'm saying. Like, the normal passing out, like, at a festival. He was I at get a... Out for, like, he was at a Mother Earth festival in Bolivia. And um, he was a sacrifice to Mother Earth. I haven't seen any picture. Terrible sacrifice to start there. Um... He's not going to get you any prosperity. <laughs> but, um, 50 miles away from where you passed out? There's yeah, bro, no that's what shot. Just no shot, bro. I'm just drinking, turning up with my people. And oh, I'm a little passed out. Wake up. In a box. Underground. Break out. 50 miles away. I mean, props to him for getting out. Like, how do, how you pull that off? I'm never drinking again. I'm drinking currently. No, if but... that happens to me, I'm never drinking again. Because last I'm... time I drank, I got buried alive and sacrificed to the earth. Yeah, but how is he going to forget it and move past it if not for alcohol? Not with yeah, alcohol. I... <laughs> because in my mind, every time I drink, I'm gonna be like, "Bro, I'm about to, I'm about to wake up dead. I'm about to wake up dead." Hey man, almost dying is the best part of living. Scott almost lived dying. He did both. Listen, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and police didn't believe him because he was drunk. And they're like, "Nigga, you just drunk. You didn't break out of a coffin." Like, you know, like, oh shit, I guess you did. You got to sacrifice <laughs> to Mother Earth. I mean, yeah, bro. And Mother Earth I mean, rejected what? you because you woke up. <laughs> what is this? Because you were in a glass coffin underground and that bitch didn't collapse while you were asleep. You weren't supposed to. They were like, this is not a worthy sacrifice. Yeah, bro. Like, you didn't suffocate. You, like, the dirt didn't, the weight of the dirt didn't collapse on you. You somehow made your way out. Mother Earth was 
actively keeping you away. Yeah. You are an unworthy sacrifice. Which, again, I mean, more reason to drink. Do it again. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you might start thinking a little uh, anti-living at that point. Because, like, you got drunk, became a sacrifice to the festival you were going to, and then you were rejected. Do you even want to, like, keep going? Because you at this you festival, could you support the cause? Anti-living? I mean, he might become anti-living. If you went to a festival <laughs> to support the, the earth... And then you were sacrificed to the earth, and the earth didn't want you. You'd be like, "What am what I believe in?" But I, that's what I'm saying. Like, even then, if you like tried to kill yourself, like I just think like stuff like comically would happen, bro. Like he's sitting here, like you know, he he, he gets a knife, all right, and then it just it's like one of those fucking like clown knives where it just jumps back into the handle and it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Goes for the gun. The gun pops out with a flag that says "Bang." Bang. Like, <laughs> like, he just jumps in a pool of water and down. It's like Jello or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you jump off a building. It's like actually he can fly now. <laughs> it's like he can actually jump off a fly. building. It's just like a fucking like a, like a banner that looks like the ground. It's like a two foot drop. <laughs> Do the matrix where you point, pow. <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah, that's the worst way to find out you're invincible. Yeah, to get our plane, our yeah. train wreck, like Bruce Willis. My man's Bruce Willis, though. <laughs> it's Bruce Willis, though. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two comical things that don't make any sense. Uh, let's get on to a third one. Okay. Murder suspect calls cops over cold fries, then gets arrested on a warrant. Uh, you can't have it both ways, man. That's what I'm saying. If you wanted to show away, you should have went to Burger King because you was at McDonald's. You can't have slogans, man. You can't be like, fuck the police, but also I need the police to react. But like, over fries. Will you. It's not like a traffic ticket that's expired. You won't. They want you for murder. <laughs> and you're just going to contact say, them, They say you caught a body. And you like, let me call these boys over these cold french fries. I wish um, we knew how long that warrant was out for because that, that, that could have been an episode of like the, the quick <laughs> crime mysteries. It's like, so oh, I wonder who the murder suspect is. Here I am. Here's the weapon. And handcuff me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bruh, so he calls the police. Cold fries. And says the fries are lukewarm, but they not hot. So I just wanted some fresh fries. And that's what he that's what he's saying, he said. But then the cops talked to the folks that work there and he said, fix my fucking food and threw a soda at him. They were like, you got to leave. So he definitely killed that person. Oh, 100%. If you're throwing sodas over cold fries. Oh, you're... this is a bit of a cold case, too, because there was a in connection with the a, a body found inside of a car in 2018. This boy was on the run for four years. Was there any mention of cold french fries in the car with the body? (laughs) Was the manager at a different McDonald's? (laughs) The suspect's Uh, new nickname is The Hamburglar because his crimes are all (laughs) targeted at McDonald's is his. He doesn't rob him. He just kills them once he gets cold fries. Oh, man. The Big Mac murderer strikes again. (laughs) Bruh, imagine you wanted a connection and you were on a lamp for four years. You were there for four years, made it out, and over some cold fucking french fries, you got got. Bro. I'm pissed, bro. If I got away, if I got away, we catching a body. 
and it was for four years. You could rob me at gunpoint, leave me butt naked in the street. I can't call the police uh, for help. Okay. I cannot. I can only police. get you back. That's all I can do is that just get, is get some get back. And we plot for the next one, but yeah, bro. Like, I can't do anything about that. Like, it just happened to me. Like, oh well. <laughs> Keep <it> moving. <laughs> oh my God, sir, are you okay? Do you want me to call the police? You better fucking not. You better fucking not like, call even, the police. It's crazy because even if you like get shot, you can't go to the hospital. Gunshot wounds nah. automatically warrant a police visit. That's a thing. Yeah, you got to know some tailor with a basement where he just fixes up superheroes. I know, you know somebody what? that shot themselves and have to say he got robbed because he was on probation and shouldn't have had a gun. I'm not gonna speak. Yeah, what, was, what was their name again? Uh, <laughs> I remember this story. You said his name was. His name was <laughs> Peoples Jones. <laughs> not the NFL player. Oh, it would be funny. Yeah, my boy Plexical, you know? Um, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but, but yeah, right. So, like, now you looking at a body and you are getting hit with criminal trespassing because you was on their property in the McDonald's. People were like, fuck him. Because you, cause you throwing sodas. Bruh, imagine you, you, get, to the, you right. get to the to the clink, bruh. And they're like, oh, what you in for? Oh, some cold French fries. Oh no, I, I caught a body. Oh, how they count to catch you? You was on the lamp for four years? Yeah, I called them. Oh, did somebody shoot your mama or something? But nah, my French fries was cold, so I called them. I didn't want to catch another body, so I had to restrain myself. <laughs> and there, gross. Okay. Th- there was a video attached to it, but it's just of him running because they're like, "Hey, can we watch you?" <laughs> He's like, huh? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't, tr- I don't trust police. Like, bro, we just, we just, you ain't do nothing wrong, but we just like want to talk to you. They ain't asked us nothing. They said, hey, we need to get a statement from you because you called us. Nah, bro, I don't trust the police. They're like, sir, just, we just want to take a statement. Like, what do you? It's not like, even nah, bro. Takes off running. So they chase him. And yeah, they that's- chase him. That's suspicious behavior. Yeah, bro. All you need to do is be like, hey, um, you know, this is a situation, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. What's your name? Here's a fake name. I mean, also a crime, but they're not going to really check like that. Like, I, if, if you're the I, victim. I mean, yeah. You're not going to, I mean, they're going to run the name. Just uh, be gone before that happens. Yeah, man. Don't give them a fake name if somebody else. But what you don't do. Like, is run away. That's what you don't do. <laughs> I mean, his expertise is obviously in the um, execution area, not the uh, escaping. So clearly, uh, <laughs> all right. Do you have time for one more? Uh, uh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Let me uh, bring it on real home. quick because this shit is actually mad funny too. And it fits this week's theme of just stupid, dumb shit. Oh, just this week, huh? Yeah, you know, we're a very uh, intellectual-based... Yeah, okay. So we're... (laughs) (laughs) Intellectual-based... Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Robber, who broke into hair salon, is beaten by its black belt owner and kept as sex slave for three days fed only Viagra <laughs> is this in the UK? oh this is definitely in uh, Madarasha <laughs> <laughs> the strongest pony boy <laughs> uh, uh, okay. no. this is just Victor, I like this just <laughs> Jasinski, 32, admitted to police he went into the salon with the intention of robbing it. The tables were turned when he found himself overcome by owner Olga Sajak, 28, who happened to be a black belt in karate. Of course, Olga has a black belt. <laughs> of course, it's Olga. I'm not fighting nobody named Olga, anyways. She floored him with a single kick. 
Just toying with the dick. <laughs> she dropped him. One kick, he's out of there, bro. Oh, man. I just, um, it, it, the story took so many turns. It's like, okay, guy robs. Hair and, salon. So, okay, cool. cool. We could we could get an easy 10 out of that, but whatever. Gets captured by the black belt. Okay, first, why are you, you a black belt and also doing hair? Why but in the capture. The capture and the three days of vigorous Viagra humping. Viagra, the Viagra pumps, bro. Just, the Viagra pumps. <laughs> Said, I'm hungry. Yep, yeah, I know you are. Gotta eat. Bow, pop there right in go. the mouth. It's been four, it's about four hours. There you go. You'll be fine. Your blood there pressure's you okay. It's whatever. <laughs> Figure that out later. I hang them upside down after a while because once all the blood is flowing there, you know, you get a little she light. She said hand. she did it t- to teach him a lesson. No, that's the authority's job. <laughs> that's, that's he was eventually released because um, he said he learned his lesson and went straight to the police. Yeah, because now she's a criminal. She cuffs a nigga to the to the radiator, bro. Not even to the bed. Like you could have even made him comfortable, bro. Bro, I'm tied oh, to a radiator, is. butt naked, eating Viagra for three days straight. <laughs> that is like the most. I'll take this jail time for this robbery. Yep, because yeah, I'm please. the victim. But you know what the the story didn't mention was that when she was doing this over the period of three days, every time before he had the climax, there was a giant sperm that came in. <laughs> he's like, no, please, I don't want to fight right now. No, no, no. He's handcuffed to the radiator still, but he loses every time. So. She's, she's a black belt. She'll take that fade form. She's taking that fade form. She's a black belt. It's like, well, she likes it, obviously. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, God. What she get pregnant, Go bro? That's gonna be the most awkward fucking paternity case ever. Oh my god, man! And then like bears t- child after being assaulted for three days, like. Oh man! And start the us two movement. Hashtag us two, bro. When when they questioned her, she had to to be mad at the nigga. <laughs> she said, "What a bastard." Yeah, we had sex a couple times, but I bought him new jeans, gave him food, and even gave him a thousand dollars when he left. So okay, so even if he had just walked in to get his hair cut at the hair salon with no intent to rob, that fate was going to be the same. She, she crazy. Probably. She crazy. You don't do that. You don't, and then, okay, you, you don't do that, but then you don't justify it. <laughs> but, right. She said, no, nah, it wasn't even like that. We was cool, consenting adults. Bruh, come on. I mean, obviously, he got it up. He liked it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> with the old how you give dogs fucking medicine, you wrap that bitch and see a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> They're just feeding them shit, bread, wrapping it. In. Here's a hot dog. Put it in the hot dog. God, it got him chained to a radiator, but was like, "You need some new pants." Everything here was consensual. You need new pants for me to continuously take advantage. But see, like Olga, Olga, who do we believe here? Do we believe him in saying that it was just like a continuous three day thing? Or do we believe her like it happened a couple times? Well, it was cool. I think we believe him because I'm not going to the police afterwards. Because you got a yeah, lot mean, of shame there. Like, that happened to you. And almost any, well, I can't speak from an experience, but I would imagine any amount of unwanted sex would constitute as more than a couple. Even if it's technically just one time. You think, oh, that couple. Nope. I think almost one time still qualifies as a police visit. Oh, yeah. It have to happen. It just has to almost happen. Yeah, if she cut my hair and, like, 
oh yeah, man, like uh, I've got this fantasy of getting up and immediately going to the police. But what is the fear there? Because you broke in, all right, cool, I'm going to rob this motherfucker. She kicked you in your shit one time. I assume it was a head kick because then it said he was dazed. She was semi-conscious. So she hit you with this UFC four-ass head kick, sits you down. <laughs> you get the Adrian Peterson on. Just... Yeah. She just put you in the stasis, kick you in the stasis. <laughs> you just, you probably concussed, right? Because you're not trained for this. You probably concussed now. She dragged you, tie you to a radiator. So you're like, well, I'm going to die here. That's what you're thinking. Like, it's over. She's going to kill me, clearly. And then <clears throat> you're fed a Viagra. And she just start, she just start getting it. And you're just like, w- what is happening right now? Because <laughs> at Not some point, he was Not- probably like, this might be okay. Yeah, I was like, "What is? do we know what Ogo looks like? They blur their eyes in the picture. So, no. I was like, how much of her eyes, though? Because we we've can we been dealing with uh, looking around masks for the past few years. I think we can figure out this eyes. see their eyes, though. <laughs> I feel like we could work around the eyes that you like, You know, anyway. So, Ogo, Ogo, Ogo. But I wonder if he was like, okay, first time. This is okay. First one's on the house. It's, all right, cool. Like that first couple, all right, cool. You know, four or five hours go by. All right, cool. Here's another one. <laughs> um, sorry, Olga. It's starting to literally hurt right now. Could we not? I didn't How know. How are could you get... not in pain, lady? That's. <laughs> very cavernous down here. What's going on here, Olga? There's so many questions that, like, you wouldn't think to think to have to ask there. Like, hey, can you use protection at least, lady? I don't know you. There's no protection involved. It's you don't Russia. handcuff some... It's Russia. You don't, they, don't, they don't care. It's just cold. Yeah. Here. Yeah, you gotta probably, get... She probably pours some vodka on them to, like, sanitize. And then... <laughs> it's a spermicide. <laughs> Okay, I think that's the the vodka lube. I think that's what we call it. <laughs> I think that's yep. A really good ending point. M- multiple reasons we should call it the vodka lube. Get out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, uh, it's been another episode of Four Billion is Stupid. As always, I'm your host Mitch. I'm with my co-host Xander. And we'll see you on the hey, next one. Like it, subscribe it, comment it, hit it up in English this time. Better than Nick.